Hai, Assalamualaikum. We meet again. In part 2, kita akan tengok on the weighted moving average. Okay, just now we look at the moving average. Now, kita akan tengok on the weighted moving average with MAD. Kita nak kira error. Okay, mula-mula kita akan buat technique forecast and then kita akan tengok the measurement of error. Lagi kecil error is the best. Welcome to this forecasting tutorial on weighted moving averages. We will be calculating weighted moving averages. We will also be comparing error measures using the mean absolute deviation, MAD. We will be using this time series data from seven weeks of sales. And we want to forecast sales using four week weighted moving averages with weights 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and 0 0.1. In practice, the weighted moving average is usually employed when there is a need to place more importance on some periods over others. In most cases, we place more importance on more recent data. Therefore, in this exercise, the 0 0.4 weight will be placed on the most recent value, the 0 0.3 on the next most recent, and so on. Let's now calculate four week weighted moving averages using the given weights 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0.2, and 0 0.1. Since we're computing four week averages, we start by using data from the first four weeks to compute the moving average forecast for week five. So F5, that is forecast for week five, equals 0 0.4 times 45. Notice that 45 is the most recent value, plus 0.3 times 40 the next most recent value plus 0.2 times 44 plus 0.1 times 39, which gives 42.7. For week 6, the weighted moving average is F6, which equals 0.4 times 38 plus 0.3 times 45 plus 0.2 times 40 plus 0.1 times 44, which gives 41.1. For week 7, the weighted moving average is 0 0.4 times 43 plus 0.3 times 38 plus 0.2 times 45 plus 0.1 times 40, which gives 41.6. And the forecast for week 8 is 0 0.4 times 39 plus 0.3 times 43 plus 0.2 times 38 plus 0.1 times 45, which gives 40.6. Next, we calculate the mean absolute deviation for this model. First, we calculate the absolute errors, that is the positive difference between the actual and forecast values, and then average them. There are no errors for weeks 1 to 4 because there are no forecasts. For week 5, the absolute error is 4.7. For week 6, it is 1.9. For week 7, it is 2.6. The main absolute deviation, MAD, is the average of these errors, which gives 3.07. Now, note that in this first example, the weights added up to 1. Let's look at the next example where the weights do not add up to 1. Forecast sales using two weak weighted moving averages with weights 3 and 2. In this example, we're calculating two weak moving averages where the weights 3 and 2 add up to 5 and not to 1. So, in calculating the weighted moving averages, we multiply the sales values by the weights as we did before, but in this case, we also divide by the total weight, which is 5. And so, the forecast for week 3, F3, is 3 times 44 plus 2 times 39 divided by 5, which gives 42. For week 4, it is 3 times 40 plus 2 times 44 divided by 5, and that gives 41.6. For week 5, it is 43. It is 40.8 for week 6. And for week 7, it is 41. And finally, for week 8, it is 40.6. Next, we calculate the mean absolute deviation. The absolute forecast error for week 3 is the absolute value of 40 minus 42, which is 2. For week 4, it is 3.4. For week 5, it is 5. For week 6, it is 2.2. And for week 7, it is 2. On averaging these 5 values, we obtain a mean absolute deviation of 2.92. Now let's compare the error measures. 
The MAD was 3.07 using the 4-week moving average method with weights 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and 0 0.1. And the MAD was 2.92 using the 2-week weighted moving average with weights 3 and 2. Since the MAD is an error measure, smaller MADs produce better smoothing of the data. Therefore, using MAD, the two-week weighted moving average method produced a better forecast. So we have the naive, we have the moving average, we have done the exponential. Uh, next class, kita akan tengok exponential. And jangan, jangan, jangan confuse dengan tiga ni. Eh. Tiga ni adalah error. MAD, MSE, MA. P ini MIP ni adalah error. Okay, dia adalah error. Dia bukan kaedah. Kaedah tu yang atas tu tadi. Naive, moving average, exponential and linear trend. These are the method. These are the error measurement. Error measurement ni nak measure apa? Tengok comparison antara method-method yang ada. Alright. So, I see you in the part 3 later on.